Hi, crafty friends, Carrie here. Today we are going to make a pocket letter. You will need one of these uh, nine pocket card protectors like you put baseball cards in. And you'll also need whatever paper you're using. Today I am using Flower Fairies of Spring with Love from 49 Market. Now I'm starting as I'm cutting at three and a half inches. Now I'm gonna take off this little strip here at the bottom and then I'm gonna cut this at three and a half inches. And then I'm gonna do this one here at three and a half inches, and that's a scrap. Now, I will then with them two and a half inches wide. And so I will cut all of those down to two and a half inches wide. I'm kind of figuring out exactly how I want them because I want the fairies. So I'm trimming a little off the edge to make sure I get my whole fairy in the two and a half inches. You will have quite a few scraps from this because this is a 12 by 12 paper. And here I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing mine at two and a half inches. And then I'm kind of playing around trying to decide which ones I want. And I think that's what I want, but actually when you see the pocket letter, you'll see that I did it differently. This is Distress um, Ink in picked raspberry and I'm just going around the edges of all my cards. Now I'm just going to slip these in here to check my layout, see how I like it. And I do, I like that. Okay, now on the top cards where this is like lace trim, I am taking some Stickles Diamond and I'm just going over and following the lace pattern with my Stickles. That'll give it a little bit of dimension and a lot of sparkle. Okay, so on the bottom row with the fairies, I'm going to be adding in some glitter on their wings. I just kind of trace around the edges of their wings and the little veins. Sprinkle on some of this light purple glitter to give it some sparkle. Okay, now I'm going to take this Spectrum Nor Sparkle Marker in Clear, and I'm going to go over all the flowers. The Spectrum Nor is... Sparkle is similar to Wink of Stella. It just gives a nice little shimmery effect to whatever you're touching if you're using the clear. They also do come in colors, which I also really like, but I'm just using the clear one here. Okay, now I'm gonna use a Jane Davenport Glitzy Marker in gold, and I'm just gonna come in here and go over all the little fairy clothing to give it a little bit more sparkle and shimmer. And then I'm using the Spectrum Noir Marker in a very light pink, which I don't remember the name of right now. And I'm just going over the little fairy faces and arms and legs to give kind of a rosy glow. And then I'm gonna add in some of these uh, teeny little flat pack jewels. These are from the Dollar Tree. Over in the nail section, you get a set of six for a dollar, six different colors. And I'm just coming in here and I'm adding it in for the little hair bands on the little fairies. So this is a little dragonfly punch that I added a little stickles and a little jewel for the head. And I did a few of those and I am going to add those onto my card here. Okay, now I'm gonna do some hand lettering on these cards. I'm using my cron pens. I enjoy doing hand lettering, um, and especially if I'm doing one of my own unique sayings, which I am here. I use the Micron markers, and I'm using a um, 03 size to do the first part of the lettering, and then I come back in with a 05 to fill in. When you're doing this, if you, after you write the word, if you come back in and you trace over it a couple of times, you'll get 
some little um, overlaps and little spaces where you can come in and fill in to give it kind of a unique sort of calligraphy, but not really look. So that's what I'm doing here. I apologize that my camera's not at a good angle to actually see how to do the hand lettering. If any of you would like a uh, tutorial on doing hand lettering, leave me a comment below and if I get enough requests, I will do a video, video on hand lettering. Okay, so now I'm just kind of placing my cards around and seeing how they look. I'm going to take some stickles and come around the edge of the book page that's printed on here to give that a little sparkle. Okay. And then when I finish this, I'm going to add some other little details um, to these cards. I'm going to add some butterflies, and then I'm going to um, take some little pearls and make a little trail coming off of this butterfly. And I'm just going to use my little quick pick tool to help me place the little pearls coming down off of the butterfly. And I like to use the Tombow glue for this rather than tacky glue. Um, doesn't dry as fast as tacky glue, and it's also easier to make a thinner line with it. And you have a little more time to play if you need to move your things around. I'm going to add some little gemstones over here on this book page. Okay, and then I am going to take my cards and slip them into my pocket letter sleeve because um, I kind of want to see how everything looks and see if I think I need to add any more decorations or if it looks good. And I do. I like the way it looks. So now I am going to add washi tape um, along the edge here. And I'm using a glitter washi tape, so I am going to use some double-sided sticky tape um, it's a store brand, but it's similar to Score Tape, which is a brand name. And the reason I'm doing this is because in the past, when I have used um, glitter washi tape, I don't find that it sticks as well, especially to plastic. So and I want to make sure that this is stuck down well. And I'm just burnishing this down with my little tool. Um, and I do it on both the front and the back. And when I do the back, I just make sure to match it up to what's on the front side. Okay, I'm going to make a tassel out of these pieces of lace and trim and ribbon. Um, I have some eyelash trim, some sari, and other sort of things, and I just kind of bundle everything up together. I'll be using that 1 8 inch ribbon as a tie. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to tie it right in the center with a tight knot. Now this is seam binding tape and I'm going to use it with tacky glue. could use a hot glue gun but I couldn't find mine at the moment. And tacky glue works very well. It dries fast enough for this. Fabric tack would be another option. And I'm just winding this around to make a good sturdy piece at the top. Now I'm taking a um, bead cap and I threaded my ribbon through it and put glue on the top and I'm going to push this down and hold it on and then I'm going to take my pink ribbon and twist it around the edge. And I overlap it as I do it um, so that it will cover up all of the white seam binding. And then when I'm done I tie it off at the bottom. And I'm going to trim up my ends and make them even and angle my ribbons. And then I put a little dot of glue on that bottom knot. Now here I am going to make a little um, charm dangle. And unfortunately I didn't realize it when I was filming, but I'm basically out of camera. What I have is a piece of chain and then I am using little jump rings. And I'm using a toggle clasp up at the top. That's going to be what I attach it to my pocket letter with. And so I just have some little assorted charms. I have fairies and flowers and butterflies. 
and I'm just putting those on. And then I have a little bead, wired bead strand that I've made that I'm attaching. That I just made with some beads. Okay, now I want to take my big bite and I'm going to punch a hole here at the top. And then I'm going to thread my toggle through, add in my tassel over that, close it off, and then we have that. And here is the finished pocket letter. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. There will be an announcement coming out next week about a giveaway hop that I'm hosting. And there will be prizes. So, subscribe so you'll get notice. And again, thank you for joining me.